copper 2 oxide is C, uh, is CuO and copper 1 oxide is Cu2O. So uh, the, 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 the Roman number, this is the Roman, yeah, the Roman number in the bracket, the, the, the Roman number in the bracket, it tells us the oxidation state of, of, of the element. Now, for example, if we have NO2, which is nitrogen dioxide, we can have NO, which is nitrogen monoxide, we can have N2O, which is dinitrogen oxide, we can have N2O5 which is nitrogen pentoxide. So these are four different oxides of nitrogen, right? Four different oxides of nitrogen. So how do we name them? Now we know that in all of these cases, since oxygen is the more electronegative element and oxygen always has, uh, always has um, an oxidation state of minus two, if it's not in peroxides, none of these are peroxides. So oxidation will have an oxidation state of minus two. So the total over here becomes minus four because minus 2 multiplied by 2 is minus 4 and therefore the oxidation of state of nitrogen should be plus 4 because plus 4 minus 4 gives 0 so this becomes nitrogen nitrogen 4 oxide 4 we will write in Roman numerals nitrogen oxide and then for in the case of actually let me write let me just write it below the element because otherwise you will get confused. So let me just make tables over here. So the, uh, let's take one more N2O4, which is another one N2O4. Now so this because this is nitrogen. because the oxidation state of nitrogen is plus 4 then this one minus 2 so this has to be plus 2 because plus 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 so this one is nitrogen 2 oxide then N2O minus 2 uh, so the total of nitrogen has to be plus 2 the total of nitrogen has to be plus 2 but since there are two nitrogen atoms we will divide the plus 2 by 2 so each nitrogen atom has an oxidation state of plus 1 so this will be nitrogen oxide then this one uh, the total from the oxygen is minus 2 multiplied by 5 which is minus 10 so the total from the nitrogen should be plus 10 and since there are two nitrogen atoms, uh, each contributes plus 5 to the plus 10. So this becomes nitrogen. Okay. So this is how we name these compounds. And N2O4 again minus 8 because minus 2 into 4 is minus 8. So nitrogen needs to contribute a total of plus 8. Since there are two, each will contribute plus 4. So this will become now actually yeah, you you might, might get confused so i i mean i have made any i have made a mistake over here i don't think there is any compound n2o4 because that will just break the rules for naming so yeah these are uh, four typical nitrogen compounds with the with uh, and you and now you know how to name these compounds right so let's move forward now balancing chemical equations so this is a very very important topic very important topic balancing chemical equations and that's uh, actually we will be dealing with um, yeah we will be dealing with uh, ionic we'll be dealing with ionic equations over here and many other things like that so um, let's start now let's take our example which was CuO so if you remember the half equations were Cu gives Cu2 plus plus 2e negative and then O2 gains 2e negative and actually 4e negative not 2e negative I keep making the same mistake to give 2 o2 negative now to now to write a completely balanced equation you you have to make sure what you have to make sure is that 
the number of electrons on both sides are equal. So uh, if we add these two actually, if we add these two, so the